Welcome, family. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Grandpa. Grandpa. Oh, woe is me if I preach not the Gospels. Corinthians 9.16. Amen, Grandpa. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, and the Red State USA Tour is almost over. Can you believe it? It just began, and now it's almost done. We've done nine shows so far. New York, Boston, Chicago, Minneapolis, Ann Arbor, Indianapolis, Kansas City, Springfield, Washington, D.C. They've all run red. We only got a few shows left. We may be coming to your neck of the woods. Listen very closely. March 22nd. I'm going to be at the Paramount Theater in Denver with Red State for the movie and the Q&A. March 26th, we're going to be in New Orleans. March 28th, we're going to be at the Paramount Theater in Austin, Texas. March 29th, the Cobb Energy Center in Atlanta, Georgia. April 4th, the McCall Hall in Seattle, Washington. And April 9th, we wrap up the tour at the Wiltern Theater right here in Los Angeles, California. Big old cast and crew screening. Bunch of cats going to be up on stage who are actually in the movie. And me too, who's not in the movie, but I did make it. Come on out. Weird things happen. It's a, it's, it's like going to a Grateful Dead concert as a movie, man. It's such a cool experience. Come on out and join us. Tour is almost done. For tickets, go to coopersdell.com. Gonna get grown up in here. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith, and on May 9th, we're going to launch Sir Smodcast Internet Radio. It's going to be an embedded live radio station right at Smodcast.com, and you're going to be able to listen to Smodcast like you would any other radio station. Turn it on, there's going to be something happening. It's no longer downloading. I mean, you could do that, too. We'll always have on-demand shows for downloading, but you jump right on and just listen to us live. Call in, Skype in, be involved in the show. That's right. We're going to do four original hours of morning radio programming. From 8 till 10, it's going to be this morning with Kevin Jen, as me and Jen kind of doing a plus one type of daily show. And then from noon till 2, it's going to be me and Jason Muse doing Jay and Silent Bob get jobs. But the only way we could do any of this is with the help of our good friends and partners at Stitcher. Stitcher, you've heard about it before. It's kind of like Pandora for podcasts, if you will. These cats are fantastic. They stream podcasts right there on your phone rather than listening to it or downloading it. You could be in your car driving to work. I don't want to listen to this morning radio. You hit your Stitcher app, man. Boom. You're listening to Smodcast Morning Radio, this morning show. Or you're just streaming one of the many podcasts from our vast catalog or one that just went up that morning, man. Right on your iPhone, your Android phone, your BlackBerry and Pre. These guys are fantastic. Their app is amazing. And now they've partnered up with us to bring you Sir. These cats are going to be hosting the mobile version of the embedded radio station. So at smodcast.com, you'll be able to hear us on your computer, on your laptop, on a landline. But when you're on your phone or your mobile device of any sort, Stitcher is going to be our home, man. So Stitcher's our partner. Show Stitcher how much you love them. Go download their free app, man. It's free. That's the weird thing. They're not charging anything for this app. This app's going to cost you absolutely nothing. And the only thing you have to do for it is download it. But you can do me a favor while you're doing that at the registration point. Enter the promo code SMOD. You'll see a little thing that says, have a promo code, tap here, or something like that. Enter S-M-O-D. And what's going to happen at that point is you're going to be, A, entered to win $250 worth of stash, uh, Jay and Silent Bob secret stash merchandise, or smerchandise, as we call it over at Smodcast. $250, you go shop your fool head off. But more importantly, by using that promo code, you're showing them how strong the Smodcast audience is, and that this is a worthwhile endeavor to open up that stream and build it and house it for us. Show them your thank live fresh content it's gonna be the bomb and these cats are responsible go to stitcher.com slash smod and start the process man stitcher is the future and the future of smodcast network is sir smodcast internet radio hey this is brian ralston the new jersey devils and you're listening to puck nuts It's time to lace up those skates and talk about hockey with Walt, Bry, Ming, and Sunday Jeff. These are the Puck Nuts. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Puck Nuts, dealing with the New Jersey Devils and the NHL. My name's Ming Chen. Sunday Jeff. Walt. Sunday Jeff. Wait, why are we down a man again? Where's Brian? What happened to Brian? Is he in the hospital? He's not in the, well, he's not in the hospital. He's at the dentist and not for himself. He texted me minutes before we started, said something about Suzanne's, uh, I guess she had oral surgery and uh, stitches opened up, and he's sitting there uh, at the dentist with her. So so last week, no Sunday, Is that Jeff. him? Is that hit The phone is ringing. Is that is that Bri? That is not Brian, I don't believe. What does it say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Last week, no Sunday, Jeff. This week, no Brian. Man, it's, this show is definitely nobody cares about it. This commitment is not there, man. You got to admit that. You got to admit that. I'm not. No way. I'm not admitting it. I'm not. I'm not giving up on the Devils in the playoffs, and I'm not admitting the sh- the show is dead. I think people care. Yeah, you know, everybody needs a little Ming, though. Everybody needs. You have to. There has to be one person. Who I, I believes. think people care. What I'm there worried has to be about, one person living in a fantasy. What world. I'm worried about is, uh, you know, uh, you know, you step through a hole next week, and you're not here, and then you know, the next week, uh, you know, next week uh, I get hit by a car. It's like you know who's going to be left. Guess what? If you if you don't if you're not here one week, yeah, there's no puck. No nuts. show. There's no puck nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I think, that's I, not true though. He did miss one week. No, he didn't. Yes, he, he did. He phoned well, it in. Remember? He he did, video say he physically wasn't in the. I mean, yeah, here. But he called us and was like, he said, I, you know, I made he, an effort to be here, even though I was uh, you know a thousand miles away. I, the I, first I, week, you're not here. The puck nuts is done. <laughs> you guys then, don't need me. You haven't missed a week. You haven't missed a week at all. No. I don't think you've ever missed a week. It's because this guy's got heart. I, I, no, it's not because I have heart, because we do it at my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good reason. I mean, That's, you're doing, we're doing it at the store. Why, uh, Unless you do it I on come, a Sunday, then you'll never be yeah, here. If we, if, we, uh, if we do it on a day I'm, I'm off, then yeah, if we, then I wouldn't be here. No chance. All right. I mean, there's a fat chance we're ever doing this on a Sunday. Why weren't you here last week? I was uh, on vacation. Did you listen to the show? No, not yet. Oh. I just got back. I got back Saturday night. <laughs> what? There's no computers in... Uh, in Florida, you couldn't download the show and listen to it while you're on vacation. No, I know the hotel room. There's a, there's like a community, um, like a business center. With yeah, but you could have downloaded. Yeah, I don't the have show. a computer though. I didn't bring a computer with me. Bring your iPod with you. You have to have a computer and to hook it up, don't you, numbnuts? <laughs> didn't you? Um, what the fuck. <laughs> It's like, you know, I just, it, when did they come out with wireless iPods? You could just walk around, and ha- you know, it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to download the signal. If it, if it was me and I was down there, I would have grabbed. Uh, I, I, I think Ming would have found a way to download. Yeah, I would have found. Would I would have asked around, hey, are you a Pucknuts fan? Are you a Pucknuts uh, fan? You, do, you, have, you have this week's episode? Um, Can I listen to it? I was, so I was on the do Dumbo. On, where'd you go on again? Walt Disney World. Is that all you did? Uh, yeah. We went there, to was, two there, days. Was, there was rumors that you were going to make a, a stop at Cape Canaveral. Yeah, a special stop. Cape Canaveral? Yeah. Yeah, where were you going to go? Kennedy Space Center. Oh, right. Cape yeah, Canaveral. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. No. Right. They're not located in no. the same place. <laughs> you can't go on Cape Canaveral. You can't go. It's, it's, it's Kennedy Space Center is where I wanted to visit. Aren't they both in Florida? Yes. Well, right, wait, well, wait, wait. You just can't. I mean, there's one place you just can't go to. Kennedy Space Center is like for visitors. It's, it's All right, for a you're place. getting technical. Yeah. Yeah. Cape Canaveral. So clear this up for us. Cape Canaveral is where the shuttle actually launches, yes. right? That's where the pad yes. is. You can go to see that when they when they do You can't show. go on the area. You got to go across the lake area to actually see it. They won't allow you on the premises. Okay. But, but you didn't go to the no, space it wasn't center. Enough time. How come? A no, week not wasn't really. enough time. No, I was with my. We went to two days in Disney World. We went to um, Hollywood Studios, which is a waste. Oh, I didn't think so. As a waste, it's a waste. Universal. It's a waste for a four. Not world. Universal. You didn't not go uni- universal. No, not universal. No, I'm just talking about the one what it used to, M- used to be MGM. Yeah, that's oh, a, okay, a waste okay, for okay. a four year old. If you have a four year old, don't bring your kid there. There's only three things to possibly see that any kid would have entry. What about the Toy Story? Let me tell you something. I, was, I went there, and as soon as we got, they open up the park at nine. We got there at ten, and everybody's like, my sister's like saying, she says, as soon as you go in the park, go and get a fast pass for Toy Story. Mm-hmm. So I went and was like, I, I went there and actually got a, the pass, and the pass was the fast pass was already at eight fifteen for ten o'clock in the morning. That's how that's how um how fast the fast passes were going. Right. So, but I did go on the ride. I would never, it? yeah, I would never. It's basically, you ever play the, when you were in uh, Magic Kingdom, you ever see the other one with Toy Story where you shoot the aliens and shit? Yeah, that's like, that's fun, yeah. It's the same thing without spinning it, without the, the car right, spinning. Right, right, But it's, you put, it's, it's three dimensional and you basically pull this string and you shoot at, at, cat. it's, it's not worth two and a half hours to wait in that line if you had to wait well, in that line. I thought it was good. Wow. Well, I mean, he's got high standards, though. Well, no, your, but, well Tower of no, Terror is well, better. Well, is which is a better, ter- <laughs> better ride? Have you been on that ride? Uh, yeah, I have been on Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror is a pretty good ride. That was a two-hour You took your kid on Tower of Terror? No. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing, but I'm saying there's nothing really there. They have some new Disney attraction. Yeah, the they Princesses have. Theater. The Little Mermaid, was which good. was good. That was good. Right? But that's it's not worth $80 to go in there for two two things. She 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 went on for well, the drive in the drive in theater the sci fi th- theater the sci fi drive in restaurant right we didn't did eat it? there we, we didn't some, go in no we, no we went oh, in but nice. I didn't, I've been cool. in there before I've been in, I've been in that park before nothing's really changed since I was there the last time what about the price did the price change seventy four dollars <laughs> for I think it's ten and under and it's eighty we did you know how, we went in two thousand know yeah. how much the ticket was in two thousand fifty four dollars fifty four so they checked it. 
54 bucks to get so in. So it's $20 more now. Almost 30 It was 80 something dollars. Oh, wow. Big sticker show. Well, what was your favorite thing? Down there? Actually, I never saw the fireworks when I was in Magic Kingdom. You didn't the say fireworks that. Were, that, the two things that I enjoyed the most out of being there was the fireworks and the electrical parade. I never um, saw those when I, I was there last time. I'm not saying anything against you, um, but I don't understand how a man of your age could be interested in fireworks at this point in your life. <laughs> Have you seen the fireworks? <laughs> I've seen the fireworks there, and I've seen fireworks everywhere. I've never okay. seen a fireworks display where I was just like, this is amazing. When you went, did they project the images on the castle, change the colors yes, of the castle? Yes. I found out. I, I, I never saw it. I thought it was pretty cool how they did it. When they, they actually looks like a ship actually taking off, and it looks like the castle's actually lifting off the ground. Oh, wait a minute. No, I didn't see that then. Yeah, is they're that, actually projecting. Or is, well, it's we part of the fireworks show. That doesn't sound like fireworks. A ship leaving, I mean, uh, the castle it's, leaving the ground. It's part of the fireworks show. I, I mean, I, I, I've seen fireworks, and I can't believe there's anybody over the age of 10 who is entertained by fireworks at this point. It's anymore. part of the fireworks show. Not just fireworks, okay. but All I'm right. saying it. Well, they you, do the parade at the end, right? Then there's the fireworks. Parades first. Right, they the parade, parade, and then first. the parade is over, then they do the fireworks. And it, but now they're, they're open at 1 o'clock in the morning. We didn't leave the oh, park yeah, till tw- two times till 1 o'clock. We stayed at 1 o'clock on Monday. You stayed till 1 a.m.? Yeah. Did How'd your you, kid, your kid stay No, she fell asleep. Oh, she no. fell Did asleep, and like then she woke up. Did yeah, we rented carriage? it. There Did was I tell no you to rent way. a carriage? Didn't I say you no, rent a carriage? She said, and you'll be, she'll be fine. Because you're like, I don't know if she could walk that She fell asleep. No, it's but it's Magic Kingdom is more for her age. But like I said, if I went to the other place, like, they went uh, when we went to Hollywood Studios. There was really only she liked the Muppet. She liked the 3D was pretty because she's never mm-hmm. saw 3D. So mm-hmm. she's sitting there trying to reach and the touch the characters and, stuff, yeah. and shit like that. And they have something. Did like you do the back lot disaster? That's we went awesome. on that too. She had no interest. I mean, no, like, even when the fire erupted. Yeah, she's four years old. She got scared when she saw it all. Like, that's, what's what, ask- that's the fun part when you get scared though. That's yeah, the, she, that's the, you know, there's nothing she will remember but the scary part. Well, she remembered the haunted house. She went on that. Oh, she did the haunted. Yeah, she did the haunted house. Was not impressed with the haunted house because we got stuck. Scared at the end. or not? Oh yeah, scared. She's four she's years not, old. She's four, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, my kids went when she was four. She wasn't scared. Yeah, your your kids are she's sheltered. You're, little maybe. No, I've never seen anything not scary. Like terrified, like saying, "I want to go off. I want to go." She was crying though. She wasn't happy to be on the ride. Has she ever and seen? Ever she ever seen anything with any kind of like scary thing? Is that the first? Ex- I experience? brought her in here once. <laughs> <laughs> but we got stuck to it at the end of the ride. You know, at the end of the ride, they have like the ghosts. Oh, yeah. And there's a ghost just like like one of those uh, hydraulic ghosts that are just going. Ksh, ksh, right. And it constantly, she got stuck right in front of it. She so, was crying. She was crying a little. She was upset. She didn't want to go on Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, she yeah. went, went on the. It was so crowded there. We went there to Monday. We went five hours. We were there. We were on two rides within that five hour time. And she wanted to take that's, pictures that's of the princess. It was so it so crowded, unbelievable. Like, like I said, there, you'd never know that the the world was in a recession. It doesn't exist at Disney World. It just doesn't exist. No, people people like put it out of their minds. They're like, "Well, I'm here in Disney. I'm going to enjoy myself. Right, right. I'll pay for it later. I'll, yeah, I'll worry yeah, about exactly it later. Let's pay." Because I was, I noticed that the first time that Lady. I was there, I was talking to a because you know they tell you the. Um, where they're from on their tags. Right, like they're over cast foreign members. countries, right? Right. No, 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 okay. no. There was so many people Ooh, from the, the people that work at the park. Oh, yeah? They have their, their flag? It tells, no, it tells you, like, it'll say, like, I met somebody from, like, um, Morristown, New Jersey. I met some. I mean, there was a lot of people that I saw that had New Jersey, you know, like, from the locale of New Jersey. And I asked the lady, I says, is it always this busy? Because we were waiting in line. She's like, says, this is how it usually is. Because I guess there's a summer or like a spring break now going mm-hmm. on for like the southeast part of the country. And I said, it's like, I says, I looked there. I says, how is there a problem here? I mean, it's just like, th- obviously money is not an issue here. She says, people just come here. They don't care. They'll charge. They'll do whatever they have to right. do. It's, it's like, just you like, worry about it later. I'm going to have fun though. now. I'm not going to worry about money. Well, they should worry about it. That's why you're in a freaking recession. <laughs> no, that's not the reason why. Disney, the high prices at Disney isn't the reason why the world is going to the fucking but I hell just, in a hamper. They're basket. finally building something onto that park. They haven't really added anything onto that park since they I was there room? in 2000. There's plenty of room. That all was right. the one reason they wanted to build the floor. What are they building? All the room. Where the uh, we went, where the Dumbo ride is, mm-hmm. they're building like Sleeping Beauty's castle behind there. Now you can see they're they're actually working. There's you know the the castles like the framework of it's up, and they're building like a whole new section out in the back. Yes, I just can't believe that all those people are allowed in the park. It's it's like a mob scene. There's got to be some kind of fire code or something. It's just unbelievable how many people are in there. 
that wall to wall mobbed. It was. Uh, I've never seen it. I mean, wow. the first time I went there, we again we went in, the, in in like September and October. A lot of kids were in school. I mean, it was crowded, but it was just nothing like this. It was just like a war zone. Like flies on shit. Just so <laughs> many people there. I mean, it wasn't just in. And it wasn't like like um like people from out of the country. Like when we went there in the one time in September and October. There was a lot of like you know Europeans there. It wasn't that at all. Now, now it how the fuck like, do you know? Because you, I mean, there was how do like, you know like what the makeup is of, of a million people walking around you? You're like looking at the what are they got? No, because they're socks that's with like sandals their, on. Oh, European. That's, um, that's like their, how do you know anybody walking by like you? Asian. What they are? I mean, just just in general. I mean, you you know how people. do you know they're not American? though? I mean, how do you know they're from Japan or China? You have no idea because I hear the people speaking. Right. Okay. All, going, all right. There you go. There you go. Obviously, if you were you know American, you would be. Maybe Chinese that's why you have. Maybe that's why you're not impressed by nothing. Because all you do is fucking looking around, looking at oh, like where's that guy from? Same Look, where's this guy? Oh, this guy's from Jersey. That's impressive. Nothing's changed. Big fucking deal. You met some people who were from Jersey too. Ten years. That was actually more impressive than some of the shit that I saw. <laughs> that's there. what I'm talking about. If you're more impressed with the fact that somebody else is why from is Jersey while you're there, why is it impressive to you? That that um that somebody else was from Jersey. It's not impressive to me. No, you know why? Because when I was there the first time, there was a lot more younger kids working at the park. Now it's all older people. You know why? Because they can't get jobs anywhere else. And a lot of people are starting to take jobs that they normally wouldn't take. I mean, I can see that. Like, you're stuck in fucking line for two hours. You know, you got to you gotta make up your own. He doesn't payment. even go on any rides. <laughs> what are you talking about? I go on stuff. You go on Tower of Terror? No. Aerosmith Coaster? No. Didn't you waste your time? Those are the only two Aerosmith rides that possibly. Aerosmith Coaster is in Disney? Yeah. It's at, them, it's at the uh, Hollywood what Studios. The f- what the hell does that have to do with Disney? Aerosmith. What does any of that? What does Aerosmith have to do with a roller no, coaster? Yeah, nothing. But you know, put Steven Tyler's name on. I guess people flock. Nothing to it. has anything to do with a lot. I of love stuff. simulator rides, though. I love simulator rides. It's like I know I'm only an inch off the ground. I love the um, I like Spider Man. Oh yeah, but that's yeah. Universal. That's Back to the Future. Universal. Um, they had the Hanna Barbera ride at one point. I love Kong when they had it. I love Universal. Right. I love Star Tours. That's closed. They're renovating it. They closed it? Oh, you didn't get to see it? No. I saw it the first time. Yeah. But they're um, renovating that. That one needed an update. T2 was awesome. Again, yeah, uh, Universal. Well, uh, Disney has them, though. Disney has some of those Disney rides. Disney doesn't have any of those rides that you just mentioned. I know, but they have something. I'm just forgetting them. They have them, no though. interactive drive, uh, rides like that. I was on everything in Disney. We went there for the two days that we were there. It's, it's a small world. I like that. That's Peter Pan. was cool. It's neat. I mean, it's not anything I'd be like, I got to do it again in my lifetime. If I never saw it again, I would never, I would never be like, right, I got to get back it's, there. I've already seen it. I mean, as far as like my kid watching it, right. seeing it that, that standpoint, right. yeah, it was great. I mean, without so a doubt. What, that's what you're there for, not just for you. Yeah, I not know. For you. I wasn't there at all for me, without a doubt. I waited in the lines for her to go see, like they did this thing for like Tangled with Rapunzel. This must be like going to fucking Disney with Lou Dobbs over here, fucking worried about the economy, <laughs> worried about all the foreigners that are around him. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you going soon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, believe me, I'm not worried about. I'm not sitting there going like, yeah, I wonder where that guy's from. Or is, oh, you're from Jersey? Oh, that's awesome. No, I'm worried about. Oh, it's just bringing up conversation. Get, I have no interest in the shit that's there. I have. What was no the only thing? You, what was the so the only fast pass you did was Toy Story? And we did. There was one more. I'm trying to think of what we did. There was. I think it was for. It wasn't for Peter Pan. It was for. Um, like this uh, Mickey Symphonic it was a 4D. Oh yeah, 4D. how awesome was that? She liked that. She likes. She loves the four, the, the, the like the three dimensional stuff. Now, if, if, from what you hear, do you think he a had a good time or b was disappointed? What do you think? Uh, Personally, uh, not I had a good kid. time well, because my it. kid had a good time. I didn't have a good time because I wanted to be there. I mean, it has, okay. I, he I sound, went there for. He for sounds him. pretty disappointed. He sounds like, like he's like, underwhelmed, like, right? Right. He sounded like uh, I was like, oh man, that was a waste of money. Right. Yeah. Everything's a waste of money. Right. Everything's right. overpriced. Right, but you know, again, he didn't go. He didn't get to go to the uh, the, the Kennedy Space Center, which is uh, we talked for half an hour about that. Last yeah, but I want to. I wouldn't bring my kid with that. I'd bring like my wife if she wanted to go with me. I wouldn't bring. I'm my sure kid. your wife would love that. Right, I think you talked him out of it though. <laughs> I think you but really I, wanted. You to know, go. it was worth it. That was worth more than anything else. I don't care if the, if it was three hundred dollars. Was a character breakfast. That was worth every penny at the Polynesian. Wait, wasn't it three hundred dollars? No, wasn't. That's extra money. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't come with the price of a ticket. You can't just schedule it. No. I, I mean, well, I don't mean. No, you like got to pay for it. I know you got to pay for the dinner, but you don't have to pay extra just to like to go to the no, restaurant, no, right? No, part of or the breakfast. Well, it's, I mean. it's basically. I know you got to pay your what you eat, but it's not like you got to pay an extra just to dine with a character, yes. right? Oh my you're, god. You're you're paying yeah. for that. that that's not that cool. breakfast or yeah, for that's that not dinner. Cool. We went for breakfast. Breakfast is excellent. So, but they charge you. I guess it's like whatever flat, whatever. But it was like a hundred bucks for. 
the four of us. I'm not sure why that. Why is that great though? Because she was able to. They had four characters at the breakfast, but they're it's well, interactive. Like, who are like the they characters? grabbed her um, Pluto, Mickey, and uh, Lilo and Stitch. The only one we could book. Everybody else was booked up. So that was I guess. You mean the characters have certain bookings? Yeah, every hotel has certain oh, characters at their hotel. So there might be like Donald. I mean, just, just get I think more Mickey's costumes. Had, just make more Lilo and Stitch costumes. That's right. Another thing they, they right, changed. You that. could charge more for it. <laughs> Well, I guess Lilo and Stitch is like Hawaiian or whatever. That's why they kept right. them at the oh, Polynesian. Okay. Where'd you right. stay at? I stayed at Pop Century, which is a nice hotel. I mean, there's really no reason to, to go crazy for a hotel. You're never in your room anyways. Right. I'm not there. All right. All right. Did you watch any – did you follow hockey at no, all? I, watched, I was watching – actually, I was watching the Panther game because it was the only way I could get the scores, and I saw they lost the two games. I, did, I didn't see any of the highlights. Right. Low lights. Low lights. All right. Did your heart fall like I, like mine did? Seen those they, two losses. They, beat? They, they came back, and I think it was the Atlanta game they, they won they pretty decisively. Back, but they, but they, got, like they, they got their 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 guardian angel was on their shoulder for the Atlanta game. Right. And then that guardian angel left their shoulders <laughs> for the Ottawa game because they got some goals called back. And Was it 3-1 against Ottawa? Yeah. Uh, they got shut out against Washington. Night, I remember they got matter, shut yeah. out against Washington. Yeah. On retro night, too. They got shut out, which is... It was a day. Not was good. When you, I mean, they had a great crowd. Yeah, great, I know, the, and I know they want to score. I know they want to get their fans excited. But boy, when you don't get your fans up out of their seats on retro night, what a bitter disappointment that is for everybody involved. I mean, you pimped that game. You talked about. A sellout? Against oh, it was, yeah, a sellout. it was definitely, it was definitely a sellout. A sellout. Did you go to the game? Yeah, I mean, Walt went actually. And they didn't. We didn't have. Any, we didn't have going to cheer for one thing. Not one thing was there to cheer for because I mean, they basically. I mean, maybe sure. there wasn't even a hard hit. I don't think in that no, game. No, I think uh, the, the. I mean, the, the only exciting part was that uh, Kovalchuk got a breakaway and he got stonewalled, and that was about it in the third period. I mean, they were down three zip by then, anyways. Yeah, that, even if he had scored, it wouldn't have mattered. They held Washington to like with like five minutes to go in a the game. They had they had nine shots on goal. That's what they did against Columbus. I didn't realize how many shots they had against. It was yeah, like thirteen yeah. shots. We're talking it's about, insane. But, but against Washington, though, they did that, and in fact. They couldn't score. It was just so Were they good goals, though? I didn't see any of the goals. So the that's first a, goal, I don't believe, was a good goal. No, I think. Pretty Rodoro soft. probably would have had that goal, you know, nine out of ten times. But the other two goals were not his, you know, there's nothing he could do. Right. So basically, he allowed one goal that he should have had. Yeah. Well, I don't even know if you say you could should have yeah, had you it. Can't. It's just one of those goals that you're just like, oh, man, I wish that wasn't the first goal that yeah, went in. Brian if it was the third goal, it, it wouldn't have mattered. But the, the first goal that went in was a goal that was just kind of like a little, you raise your eyebrow a little bit and go, Oof, Ooh, okay. I I could have stopped that. I don't know. I don't think I could have stopped it, but I, I think a Hall of Famer could have stopped it. Right. I think against Columbus, got three goals against Columbus the other Big night. Big shit. It was, but when it, when it really mattered, on. though, when it really mattered against their last place team, Ottawa, and on retro night, they came up pretty damn small with one goal in two games. Right. And, I think and they had just become 500. They were putting the pressure on, and I believe a little bit that the pressure was starting to mount in like – it was like, oh my God, we're really we're getting this close. Is, this is important. Like we can't lose this game, and, and then all of a sudden the, the sticks got squeezed and they couldn't score. But they're still same thing as they usually do, man. Make goalies look like they're Patrick Waugh in Game Seven, over and over and over again. They're still a professional team, though. Ottawa's still professional. At one time, weren't Devils in last place? Yeah, can't beat a last place team. Weren't they in yeah, last place? Like you can't lose to a last place team twice in ten days. But they and played expect them, to win the playoffs, though, and did- expect to make the playoffs. I agree, but they did play them. Ottawa did play them very well. Right. They were. They're, I mean, uh, they weren't giving up a lot of shots either. I remember the first game. I, again, I didn't see the second game, but they didn't give up a lot of shots. Ottawa. It was very difficult for them to get shots through too. I remember the first game they played against them against the Devils. Who Ottawa? Yeah. Okay. I just think the Senators have their number this year. They're two and they're two and six against them. It's the same thing. Mean, they didn't play them eight times this year. Uh, oh, two and six, two and four. I don't know. Maybe my counts on. No, that's. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> I, th- I think that six is supposed to be a four in my bullet. Oh, Washington's, here. you know, they were, they've become better lately. I mean, it's that they've they've turned their their stuff around. They weren't playing well for a while there for that certain amount of stretch. Yeah, and now they're starting to play uh, play well. Yeah, three zip. I can't excuse, but you know, the loss. They're they're nine. You know, they're they're, they're pretty hot right now. Nine and one in the last ten. I, I just I wanted to see them win though, and just uh, just prove that they were a better team. 
But they, they were beating the teams out. that they had to beat, though. They were beating they beat Atlanta. You were, you were beat again, you know, one against Florida. Right. So a lot of the teams that they're chasing, those are the teams. Yeah, obviously you can't, you really can't lose anything. There's really almost no margin for any error. Right now there's nothing they can't lose. But it's very difficult for, to, to win 10 games in a row. It's, it's just not a very easy, you know, it's possible, but it's not, you, you need help anyways. Whether you win the 10 games or not, you still have to have that other team lose a couple of games. Right. You have no control over that, though, right. Jeff. Only have, you only have the control over the games that you're playing. That's the only games that you have some control over. Right. You know? But you're playing Buffalo. You're playing, I think, Toronto, I guess, one more time, too, I right. think, before the end. So those are points that you have to try to, I mean, at least get those two points from them. You know, every every game you can win is, is a step closer, but, you know, there's a likely... Probably not, but you know what? The, right now they're five hundred. I mean, in the beginning of, after the first thirty games, would you think they'd be five hundred at this no, point? No, ten there? and twenty. I mean, 10, 29 and two. No, there's even no if way. they don't make the playoffs, it's just you know to turn the season around. You, you got to walk around with your head up at the end of the season, whether they make the playoffs or not. Right. Just for the turnaround and and how they finished, you know, such a disappointing beginning of the season and turned it around and, and made it something towards the end. And I just got to hope, you know, maybe you can persuade Lemaire to possibly come back for one season. Or there's an easy way to per- persuade him, uh, more money. Show him no, the cash dollar I signs. Know. I don't think Lemaire's hurting for money. I don't know if money is a, is a factor Every, in his decision. Everyone has a price. I don't know if the Devils have that much. They don't have that, <laughs> that much money. Uh, to, but I, I don't think it's a matter of money between uh, uh, Lamarillo and uh, Lemaire. I, like to see, at least, I mean, I like to see Kovalchuk probably, you know, get at least 30 goals for the year. You know? I mean, Clarkson finally scored some goals the other night. Almost right. had a hat trick. Almost. You know, but it's some. It's it seems like once once one line gets hot, they cool off, and then like all these players out of nowhere, like Palmieri. Who had the, the goals the other day? It was Palmieri and and Clarkson? Like Zubris, I don't remember when was he. When was the last time he scored? Right, right. a lot Grayson. of players like that. Right, right. it's, it's like streaking. Like, like Kovalchuk was. But doing Palmieri well. hadn't scored what like twelve games. Something like that. Twelve or thirteen. Uh, I mean, he's a rookie though, but. I mean, Kovalchuk, I mean, I don't know if he's been getting any points in uh, the last watched, games. You watched that, you watched that one line, though. I, I watched, I pay attention to the mayor or Pelly and, uh, uh, Jarkov and, Jarkov. and, uh, uh, Steckel or, right, or whoever or, yeah. else they plug in there. They have a hard sh- time even generating a shot on goal. So, I mean, there's got to do something about that. I know it's hard to find fourth line players that are good. When in a cap, salary cap mm-hmm. era, but these guys got to got pick it take up, some, get some shots on goal at least. Kelly was pr- playing pretty good there for a while. Mm. Well, he's been scratched. Yeah, a good lot enough lately. to get good enough to get scratched <laughs> in, in, in Ohio. I, don't know if that's all his fault. Well, I mean, they are. I mean, I'm not saying they have to score goals, but it'd be it's nice. Basically. It's it's so rare to see a fourth liner get a goal for the Devils. It seems like that's a give me a breath line. That's a give that yeah. the first line. <laughs> no, it's like rest. get 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 call yeah. a breath line. Right, but he's got like the second most ice time. Next to the lender. Right. Well, well, he, I mean, yeah, that's not perfect. A lot of ice he's time. a fucking monster, man. He can do it. He can play out, 30 though. minutes. Why? I mean, what he, was, he, was he playing for? What are you saving for? The playoffs? Well, not that, but I'm saying, <laughs> why, again, why would you. Um, why you burn, what do you burn him out for? He's going to have a long summer to rest up. Uh, and that spring. remains to be seen yet. Let's let's not jump the gun, but right. He can yes. go get massages every day in Russia in, in, in uh, Jul- June, July, and August for, for all I care. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Jeff, it, it, um, if if the Devils do pick it up, if the other teams lose, it could come down to the last game against Boston. Could could very well come. That to would the last be exciting. Game. Now, one thing I read was, uh, you know, if they play Boston uh, by then, Boston should be well. You know, they should have clinched a playoff spot already. And that game, they might they might just not tank, but they might put out a you know they might rest up their best players. That's a home game too, isn't the yeah. last game home game? They might rest up their best players. Uh, you know, they might they That's might dangerous though. Why is that? Because again, the Devils don't seem to play down to their competition at times. That's true. You know, I mean, That's I don't know how many times I've seen like the number one goaltender take a seat against the Devils and they put the backup in. Right. And you're like, oh great, this guy's not playing. Yeah, and then and all of a sudden, you're like, what the fuck? This guy, his first NHL win and shutout. Right. Right against the Devils. Against Who the knew? Devils. You know, <laughs> it seems thought? like it happens all the time. Right. So no, take nothing for granted. That's a good point. And. Don't worry about that last game, man. It ain't gonna mean nothing. But it was, didn't they play <laughs> for one? either team? Wasn't there a season that was it the year after the cup that they didn't make the playoffs that they had to win the one of the last games? Well, well yeah, it was against to Ottawa. To make the playoffs, that was the and last game of the season. They didn't win. But everybody, I think, forgets though that even if they won that game, they needed 
uh, somebody else Tampa lose. Bay to lose. Right. And um, so you, even if they won, it wasn't they weren't assured to playoff spot if they won that game. Right. Then, I think, but then the but Tampa they came Bay out. And, no, Tampa Bay made the playoffs that year. Yeah, but I'm saying didn't Tampa Bay lose that game though too? Oh, the I don't game remember. That they were playing. I don't remember. It didn't matter. Once once the Devils lost, yeah, the Tampa Bay didn't need to so win. Basically, they allowed they they allowed Tampa to get in by them yeah. losing. And uh, and I remember That's that that Ottawa team was a team full of you know it was a last place team. It right. was a team of scrubs that that they they should have won that they should have won that game and they didn't. So they his, couldn't score. They again they're, the the Achilles heel. Of, I mean. They Often. sold their soul for defense, man, and at the price of, of goals, it seems like. But I've noticed that change, though. I mean, it's with Lemaire. Defensively, they've been playing oh, excellent. Playing awesome well, yeah. But as you know, and they were scoring goals, but then how many games were they winning by one goal? It, it fell into that pattern like again. It just it <laughs> yeah. goes into that pattern again where you're winning only by that one or you know, that one goal margin. And it just with the offense that they have, it's like how how do they do? I mean, at least they scored some goals the last game. I mean, they scored four against Atlanta. They scored three against Columbus. You know, sandwiched between a one and a zero, right. though. But it's it's I I just don't understand how how there's like no rhyme or reason or, or any kind of. I mean, you could say it's consistent that they win by one goal <laughs> or they lose by one goal. It's one of the two. But are they forced teams into overtime? Right. I mean, you, you'd like, one thing they've been playing halfway decent in overtime this year. Right. But yeah, you'd like to see him score three, four, five. But and you're giving all the teams points as you're I mean, there was like the, the Islander game that they played, the one that they wound up giving them a point out of that game. Not that it really mattered, it's not but it's, matter. you know, Carolina. Not again, not that I matter. But Carolina's hovering. I think they're only two points out of the playoff, too. So every team's fighting for that. Oh, yeah. That, that spot. No one's going to roll over. No? Right. But seven seven points in 10 games, that's a, large, that's a big mountain to climb. It is. It big, is. You know, unless there's it's, total, it's, you know, maybe their uh, goaltender has something, you know, pulls a hammy or something. <laughs> Ryan Miller would have to go down. <laughs> exactly. Day. That's what I'm saying. It's not impossible, though. I mean, in, my, in my eyes, I see the Devils winning the next two games, well, Buffalo losing the next two games, and then they, they, they show off, the showdown on Saturday. But they just lost the ball. Weren't they winning that game decisively against um, – who were they playing? Nashville? I and they wound know. up losing that game. Well, they still got overtime. a point, though. They did get a point, but I'm saying they. they and Buffalo's up. all they're playing for now is point is overtime points. I would imagine if they if they if it's close. Yeah, they get one point a game. They, they, they don't just, care. They don't sit care. back, right? All right. Uh, anything else, Ming? What's on the bullet points? I see what? NFL stuff here. Yeah, you want uh, you want to talk about uh, the new rule? If just there watched? is an NFL season. Oh, that's a good <laughs> point. That's a good point. Uh, new rule today, Sunday, Jeff. I don't know if you heard, but the uh, they have decided to move the kickoffs to the 35 yard line. In the in the uh, in the name of safety, it used to start for uh, anyone who doesn't know. It used to start at the thirty yard line, and they moved up to the thirty five. And uh, the the theory behind that is there will be more touchbacks. More touchbacks mean less contact between the players, less contact between the players, uh, less injuries. What do you think, Jeff? So they're so taking uh, returns out of the game as well now. Pretty uh, yeah, eff- effectively yeah, everything's going to be a touchback now. That's good. Why you put yellow flags on them too? Then they can uh, just play touch football. That's what I was thinking. Is like, why not give these guys a belt, two red flags hanging off it, or uh, you know, just uh, just institute the two hand touch rule at this point, and uh, and bust out the Nerf football. If there is a season, right, right. But I, 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 I don't. I, I mean, I know you know they're trying to protect everybody. This I, is I can't imagine a billion dollar industry. Not know, getting their shit though, together, though. It? No. It's it wasn't. Well, then they go past how many deadlines already? They keep, I know, they keep pushing it back. They, they, they do, but, but, it's, but how can a billion? How can they? How can they leave a billion dollars on uh, out there? I mean, uh, they're crazy if they do. It's just I don't know. It's just probably ego at this Could point. You imagine if there was no NFL season. <laughs> it's like what? what well, I, mean, I remember when there was. No. Uh, there was. Um, do you remember the scabs? No. You don't remember the scabs? Mm-hmm. Fucking, you don't remember the scab I mean, fairly. Oh, well, yeah, well, they were just basically getting, like, the walk-on people. Yeah, they, they took anybody. But there still was, was a season. Yeah, it wasn't I a would good... love if anybody out there has a DVD <laughs> of, a of, of, of a scab game. Oh, be... I know there had to be, a, there was at least three games played of scab players. Right. I would love to have seen how Monday night, I, I remember <laughs> watching it, but I don't remember, really. Uh, I would love to see the Monday night team cover a scab game. It must have been bizarre. I mean, what was it, 87? Yeah, something like that. And I remember when they had a strike in the middle of the season in 83, and there was only a nine-game season. Yeah, and the Redskins won that. 
there's a lot more money involved in the nowadays market with just TV contracts and everything they else. Leave, yeah, I can't imagine I just, a billion again, dollar industry just being like, oh, we can't come to terms. You think that could bankrupt the NFL one one season? No, no, uh, no. one season. No, no, uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Not Wait, a chance. Don't get bankruptcy and then and then the the league folds. Is that what you're saying? Not folds. I'm saying that's got to really WNBA. kill. WNBA. Uh, but I, I'm saying yeah, it would definitely <laughs> kill. Uh, well, just think it would just. <laughs> Not so much just for bankrupt. bankrupt. Yeah, because the because the NFL owners are living day to day. All right, now well, you're not their owners. I'm just saying, like the NBC ketchup sandwiches. Right, Jerry Jones is going to be like in the soup line. I'm not saying he's not the NFL. He just don't. You know, he can't even open up his own stadium for a Super Bowl. You're worried about yeah, the other we, stuff. We already talked about that. But. So, but again, you have all those tickets, all those season ticket holders who are not going to see any of the games. You'll have all the people who are working those games will not be working at those games. You'll have right. all the television contracts that won't be televised. Right. You'll have all the sponsors and all the apparel and stuff that people will not be buying. That's quite a if bit of chunk. If there's any league a, that can survive a, a, a canceled I agree, season, it's be. the NFL. Right. Or, or the baseball <laughs> Absolutely. Season. Baseball has shown they can do it. Yeah, they can. But it, right. they, they've been Hockey doing it a lot. has shown – that they can do it too. They can Half do a it, season but at least. oh my god! I mean, I still think they're paying some some price for that strike, right? In terms of if if everybody came back, I would be shocked if there were some people who didn't come back for hockey, right? Right. right. Even baseball suffered until uh, Cal Ripken had I mean, that streak until, that year. He brought it, all the well, people back. I thought it was the two juicers. Well, okay, there was that too in '98, but even before then, uh, with the, the Cal Ripken, the twenty one thirty one streak brought a lot of people back. I think. I think your hockey fans would still come back. I mean, you yeah, came your back. Yeah, your your regular die-hards. hockey fans. But uh, there was a point in that season where I forgot about hockey in the winter, and I was just like, you know what? I went on and thought about other things. Right. I didn't worry about it. I watch football. <laughs> Did watch you come football. back immediately when it came back, or were you pissed? A lot of people. No, no, no. Uh, I was never angry. Okay. I was just like, you know what? A lot of people take that stance. You know, a bunch of millionaires, I asshole millionaires. But, you know, I, I didn't take Can't get their shit together. All right. You know, it had been gone for a while, you know, I, and I realized I missed it a little bit. So I was like, oh, I was, I was, ex- I was interested because they were going to do shootouts, which I thought was going to be huge. was going to be interesting at the, this, at the least. It would be interesting to see how, how it worked right. out. Now I wish they didn't. Do that. <laughs> I, I really don't like shootouts at all. I'm not a shootout person. Because no. you can have well, a devil's win a shootout, though, it oh, does feel good, though. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh. oh it feels like, great. Like, thank God they went to the shootout. <laughs> but you, you get this, <laughs> this point now where, where that's – you got to get that extra point. It's – you got to – it can come down to – you can outplay a team the whole entire game. Outplay them. And wind up going into a shootout and they're just getting beat by um, – you know, I don't understand just, why they just don't do three on three after five minutes. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. For three on right? three, two, two on one. two, one on one. <laughs> one, one on one. Like break you can never that's go to basically, one on That's one. a shootout right there, mm-hmm. basically. But I would think three on three, someone's got to score in five minutes. Yeah. You Not know. even for like five minutes and then uh, do like like three minutes. That would be cool. You put your best three out there and see what happens. Yeah. I like that idea. I really like it. But like you said, Ming, I mean, when the Devils win a shootout, like, <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and then when they lose a shootout, you're like, this shootout sucks, yeah. man. Why did they get rid of this? Yeah, come on, three thing? on three, man. <laughs> that Islander one was tough to watch, though. That one that oh, kind of, yeah. it just kept the on. Six, like, you were at that tough. game. Weren't you the sixth round? No, that was at the that, island, no, I think. No, that that one, you're right. Okay, that was that. That's when Ralston got the goal yeah. out of anybody. Yeah. Right. I went to the game where Sal Mello scored in overtime. Right. No, that's right. That's right. That beautiful goal. Jeff, did you see the uh, the uh, Matt Cook hit on Ryan McDonough? No, I, I heard about that today. Somebody was talking about it. It was, it was pretty blatant. And, uh, that was the one, the elbow? It was, elbow it was a to blatant it, right? elbow to the head. And they suspended him, though, didn't they? They did. Ten, uh, rest of the season, ten, next, uh, you know, last 10 games, and – it's out for the first round of the playoffs. Um, that it was. This one was. Uh, you know, you couldn't question this one. It was so blatant that you know there weren't news stories out there. You know, going should they have? Shouldn't they have punished him? Um, Who were they playing? What was the team they were playing? Uh, playing the Rangers. And uh, even then, you know, like, you can't justify that. Was even the guy hurt? Rangers. No, he got up. You know, he was slow getting up, but it's not like he had a, a broken neck or anything. Like that guy Chara hit. I'm not sure what I, if I follow this now. No hits to the head. Does that mean even mean like shoulder? That's close. I mean, I, I wish Brian was here. He would have had it up on his iPad. Which well, yeah. I, again, there's there's accidental hits, and then there's, there's no tolerance, right? Even if it's accidental, yeah, so right? Then how can the, you do that? But then? how like? But how is it, how are they going to do it if a guy's leaning over and you go in to hit him? 
If he's leaning, like reaching for the puck, and you come into him, I, I think right. that, that's how like the, are they going to say that there's an absolutely no hits to the head? Though I don't yeah, understand how. They I mean, can there's there's this. coincidental contact where, or you know, that's that that can't be caught. I mean, that's not so. You're both if you're both going for the puck or whatever, and you just happen to like come, you know, or go down a little bit farther, and some guy's got his head down, and both going at the puck, and your elbow or like the top of your shoulder hits his head, and you know, winds up you know knocking him out a bit. I mean, that's not intentional. This guy's definitely intentional. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty blatant. I mean, he had it up like this. Bam, you know, guy was looking at the puck. He didn't even see it. And I think some of the rules that they have, a lot of the rules got a chance. I mean, I don't like any, like, even, like, sticks to the face. You know, like, somebody has their stick, and they're going, they try to lift up, you know, somebody else's stick, and your, the stick winds up getting you in the in, in, in your face because you, you went to lift up the stick. I mean, that's your own fault. That's not the guy's fault that, you know, that's going after the puck. Again, there's the incidental contact, and it's that's, that's stuff that they have to look at as well. There's intentional. I mean, there's, well, obviously no high sticks really should be intentional, right. but... You know, it's a, a, there's a lot of rules that I think the NHL really has to sit down and, and revamp and, and look well, at some they of those. They have revamped them, and they're going, but they're, they're they're going, going the opposite they're, way. They're erring on the side of caution in terms of no – they really – I mean, it really does seem like they don't want ferocious hitting in the game at all. Right. They want like – You want they hard want hit no hits. hits. They want, they want no hits. From, they want no blind hits. They mm-hmm. want nobody to be unaware of a, of a hit is coming, it right. seems like, where too. you can't brace yourself. Right. But why is it like the injuries are more – I mean, did, was there that many concussions back in like in the early 90s? No, what they're to saying today's? is and that and there was it's a lot the more Kevlar, hitting. I think, is the um, – it's the padding. Oh, the padding is it, – it, it's, it's basically now you, uh, you're you armored. So maybe you should go back to the old school padding. Yeah, I, I heard on, on one of the guys on one of the, the local hockey shows was saying that. And I think there might be some merit to that, that they played with padding that was just like. But they were fine. There was less was concussions he, back in the day, if I remember. I mean, I there was know, concussions. Don't know if, you really don't know if there was less concussions. Yeah, because I, mean, I don't know if anybody even like cared about concussions. It was yeah, just a you don't, you've never, you never you heard You got your bell that. rung and that was it. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of people like um, <laughs> Lindros. No, his, his, his right. career was I'm talking about great. in the 80s and the 70s. Yeah, when, you just got when, back um, up and played it. Again, yeah, played you, had, you had a dizzy head. You had a headache for a couple weeks. And, or do you uh, think that's that's just everything now is is a – they they basically just look for it. Where back yeah. in the day, they yeah. didn't look for it. They exactly. just basically, you all right? Yeah, yeah, you know, my, you know. <laughs> I you still know, got that ringing in my ears. Like, I can't uh, remember Like, Danico looks teams. like he's had a concussion all his life. His head's so big, you know. Right, it's just I, like, I, I, I don't think he ever had a concussion. The Stevens wasn't. Stevens, he didn't want to well, come got hit back with a puck. because, you know. Well, that you can't really, you know. Then, then you want Kevlar yeah, for it, your helmet. It almost, hit his, it almost ripped his yeah. ear off. It literally, he well, it got hit get, with a puck. No, it did catch a lot of his ear. Didn't his, wasn't he had stitches on his ear? Well, he had his ear almost, re, had his half, Reconstructed. more than three quarter of his ear was ripped yeah. off and it's, they stitched it back on. He played the next game. He wouldn't be allowed to do that. Right, not, not, not these days. Because if he had it, they would be like, uh, they, make, they would force him to sit out, but that was a playoff. So the hockey was tough. Well, there was no one tougher than him. <laughs> Who's tough? Was there any, I mean, can you think of anybody who was tougher than him? Hmm. Come on. I mean, why are you yeah, even it's thinking? Tough. It really is. I don't know of anybody who was more. Without a doubt, the toughest, meanest, most intense. I don't mean it's intimidating. Most intimidating, intimidating person there was. I, I don't think even there was to his another. Even teammates, they talk about how they were petrified of him. Gave you that look. Yeah, that's a real man right there, Joe. I remember that one time in the play was when he was looking at that over that Benz, and he was like, you're next. You that's a next. guy, you know, that's like, well, I was trying to think of it yesterday when we were talking on Tell Him Steve Dave. Yeah. About um, some sort of Twitter sensation, they were talking about some sort, of, some girl who sings, thirteen years old, right? And it's become a phenomenon, right? I want to be like I, I was trying to get out, but I never got it out. I was like, real men don't really care about this. Scott Stevens does not care. What's this girl's name? I don't know. Um, I'm, she sings a song about Friday, right? I, I have no idea. You're I'm a real, real, you're a real man, Ming. Yeah, I'm a real man. I don't <laughs> care about <laughs> Rangers eat nuts. This. Yeah, I don't care about that shit. <laughs> Find more funny shit like this at Smodcast.com. Hi, I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Jen Schwalbach. And here's what's happening every day at Smodcast.com. On Sunday, it's me and Scott Mosier doing the original Smodcast. On Mondays, it's Hollywood Babylon with Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. On Tuesdays, it's Blowhard with Malcolm Ingram. 
Also on Tuesday, my personal favorite, Plus One. That's the one where you and I talk. That is. And you get naked. <laughs> on Wednesdays, it's me and Jason Muse doing Jay and Silent Bob Get Old. On Thursdays, it's Puck Nuts with Walt Flanagan, Ming Chen, and Brian Johnson. And don't forget Sunday Jeff. And then on Friday, they lose Sunday Jeff, and it's just Walt Flanagan, Brian Johnson, and Brian Quinn, and sometimes Ming Chen taking some abuse on Tell Em Steve Dave. On Saturdays, it's Red State of the Union. Highlands, a peephole history. One of the shows iTunes chose one of the best podcasts of 2010. Smarriage at Smodcastle, one of my favorites. That's where I actually become Rev Kev and marry motherfuckers. We sit down, interview them, find out about their entire lives. At the end of it, they're literally married. And all of it's free. Don't cost you a dime. Seven days a week, we bring you the free funny. Nice. You sound like a pitch person there, man. What else can you sell me? Show me a little boob. I'll buy. <sighs> Smartcast.com. <laughs>